on a daily basis, this shark follows me around like a dog, just trying to get its head rubbed. I've been able to use affection to remove four hooks from Emma. I would suspect that it's the same as your dog recognizing you every time you come home, even when you change clothes. She knows where I am by the sound of my boat because she follows the boat around even when there's not fish in the water. As far as safety is concerned, quite simply, sharks don't eat people. Under the conditions that I'm in, crystal clear water, uh, where they can see what they're doing, with over four decades of being in the water with the world's largest predatory sharks, I have yet to see an aggressive shark towards man. The reason it keeps coming back is because this specific tiger is trained on a hand signal, which basically means, do you want your head rubbed? What apex predator on the planet can you actually make friends with? It really puts the shark in a completely new light. This is not a vicious man-eater. And these creatures that most of the world believes to be a mindless man-eating monster is actually a beautiful, sentient creature that thrives on love and affection. I have always loved sharks since I was a little child, although when I was much younger I was afraid of them. I got this crazy idea, I wonder if I could actually make friends with this shark enough to get the shark close enough so that I could pull the hook while it's getting its head rubbed. And I tried this in a short amount of time. This shark I named Captain Ron was thriving on the affection. Within a couple of hours, I had the hook out. One of the best things that's happened to me is this discovery of the affectionate side of sharks. Little did I know that almost 20 years later, she'd still be following me around. She's quite simply a gentle giant. She's very playful and, and loving. It's quite remarkable to see this enormous wild animal actually seeking out uh, affection. Like, comment, and subscribe.